have asked me five years ago, Shreya, would you like to visit Estonia? I would say, wait. Fast forward, here I am, having witnessed all five seasons in Estonia. Yes, there's a secret fifth season, which I'm going to tell you about very soon in this video. And having enjoyed so many experiences in Tallinn and in other cities in Estonia, I am narrating and sharing all of my experiences here. <laughs> Estonia surprised me in the ways that I absolutely could not have imagined and here I am going to share some of my stories and some of my experiences with you. Fast forward, here I am having witnessed all five seasons in Estonia. Yes, there's a secret fifth season which I'm going to tell you about very soon in this video and having enjoyed so many experiences in Tallinn and in other cities in Estonia, I am narrating and sharing all of my experiences here in this video. Starting off my journey from chaotic streets of Delhi, actually Chandigarh because that's where I'm from, taking a train and then with all of my luggage getting to New Delhi by train and then taking a flight uh, with a small layover to Estonia and I had lovely experiences. I really enjoy traveling. Sometimes I feel like you don't even see me. Well, this is the condition and my face when I started my journey. Still relatively fresh and going to have a nice meal, excited for it. Perhaps my last Indian meal in India before I have my further travels in Europe. And I'm going to share my after photos and videos as well. So stay tuned. I had this amazing pav bhaji, one of my favorite dishes. It was so, so, so good. I had a nice journey and a quick layover in Germany after which we were transferred to another plane of course and this plane was so cute <laughs> look at it uh, it's so small and I barely, almost if I stand, I almost hit my head on the top. It's such a cute plane. I had a very nice journey um, onward from here as well, from Germany to Estonia. Look at that, it's so cute. And fast forward, we are in Estonia again, yay! And here's me, almost really tired and almost sleepless as well, but...
still full of energy to explore Estonia again in the fall season. It's my first time to experience autumn season because I've never experienced it ever. In North India, we don't get this season at all. So we don't see, um, you know, all of the leaves going away from the trees and then the city to get prepared for all the snow and the cold to come. I haven't really experienced that because even in winters, the leaves usually are still intact on the trees. Yes, it can get a little dull because there's no sun in the, um, you know, when the winters start. But I haven't witnessed a full-blown <laughs> autumn season and this is surprising for me to see how the leaves are cleaned and it's the whole responsibility to make sure that the city still looks fresh and nice. Look at that, what a view! <laughs> In terms of nightlife, I have my own preferences, but I would say there is a lot of lively atmosphere on the Friday and Saturday nights especially. And if you are a young person who is here for the first time and likes to party, yes, uh, surely there's a lot for you. But if you're like me who likes some silent activities or maybe some different types of activities apart from clubbing and uh, drinking and other things, then perhaps you might not enjoy the nights in Tallinn a lot. If you're not a history fan, still Estonia and Tallinn have a lot to offer. By the way, if you are watching my video for this far, I assume that you are enjoying it. So please do not hesitate to support me and be kind in dropping a like and also subscribing to my channel so that I get some more support from you and I keep creating more amazing and nice videos for you. Okay, fast forward, I came here for the first time in November 2022 and this is my second time now which means that I am um, on the same visa but I am able to travel again to Estonia because it was a multiple entry visa so I am here again and when I came here for the first time I was in hunt for some local chocolates because I have a big sweet tooth so I was hunting for chocolates and came across this brand that I could see almost everywhere it's called Kalev I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, so if there are any Estonian people watching this video, please comment if, if that's the right pronunciation. So when I saw that uh, name Kalev, not only on the chocolates but also at other places, I was curious to know what, uh, what lies behind the significance of this name. And let me tell you a story about it. Just kidding, I'm really bad with storytelling and also I tried looking up to make sure that I'm uh, <laughs> understanding that the story is right but I saw some things at Kik in the Kook that's a, an important historical monument but then not much happened. I don't have a lot to say about it. You can search it online or just drop it in the comments if you know anything about Kalev. I know that Kalev was an important and historical figure in the uh, folklore, but I don't know much beyond that. What was the significance of this hero and what it has to do with stones and something else? Oh my god. You will not believe what all I had to go through to get here. I was in India and as you know, Indian passport is not the strongest in the world, of course. And there were so many rejections of people around me and I was all set to uh, submit my application. I had applied for a D visa, which is a long term visa, Schengen visa, that uh, allows me to stay, that would have allowed me to stay for one year in Estonia. But when I reached the embassy, they said that I cannot apply for it because they were demanding for some almost unreasonable documents. And that's when I was like, and that's when I decided I'll just go for a short term visa to begin with and was able to get that with lots of back and forth on the documentation. It was all COVID period and I think the embassies were mostly barely functioning and only taking up visa applications that were only for essential travel that's like business travel or related to studies and mine was neither so it was extremely difficult. I was emailing almost all the embassies to see if I could get in through some other Schengen country and then enter Estonia as well. Um, finally after lots of back and forth and all of the paperwork as well I got a reply from Estonia 
and I had their e-residency. I don't know if if you have heard about it or not, but Estonia is pretty famous about it. They have an e-residency which allows you to set up a new business uh, virtually, completely virtually, and you get a card. That is the e-residency card. It doesn't guarantee. It doesn't give you the way to get to Estonia physically, but you can open a business virtually. So I had that. Maybe it was that that made them understand my interest in the country and. Um, upon sharing all of my application, etc., everything, I was able to get the visa, but that was only for 90 days. Finally, after all of that struggle, once I landed in Estonia on the short-term visa, I applied for a long-term one from here itself and got that too. Anyway, enough about the bureaucracy and the office stuff and all of all of that. Uh, let me take you to a quick nice adventure into the forests. That is one of the things I absolutely love about Estonia. Uh, how easily accessible um, nature spots are. So even if you are a walk away or you know you you take a small drive, you are all into the forests immersed in it and it's such a surreal experience because there's nothing but trees and nature around you so let me take you to one of the quick trips and show you what estonian forests they look like they are within the city um, not even going far away so just a small drive away almost 20 minutes from here I am going to join a group and we are going to be hiking around in this forest area and look at that I had such a nice time looking at the streets the true autumn season I can see that these leaves won't be around for very long and they have a short span of life left but yes after winter it will be summer again it will be very very beautiful as usual even the winter as well it's just so gorgeous it's stunning i i'm truly in love with estonia all of the four seasons they are all so beautiful i had the opportunity to witness almost i think three seasons before i left to india but now i'm back and i'm going to see the autumn season Thank you. 
works they just make me forget all other pains and all other anxiety and i'm all by myself here um maybe almost leaving my friends uh, to move forward for a bit and just to be immersed in nature these walks are called as bog walks uh, which is something that i just learned about when i got to estonia so all of these forests are well equipped with areas to clearly walk and hike and you can see it's still so convenient and well maintained uh, really hats off to the authorities for making it so easy for the locals and even for the tourists to be exploring forests in such a cool way even during the winter time when it's snowing these walks are still so convenient to walk and find your way around when everything is white around you and so this is a pretty good time here for me and it's my first autumn so i'm so happy i'm here i'm able to enjoy it and i can walk through the woods it's not so cold it's not warm of course but i'm so happy i'm at the same place now that the trees are still green almost and it's not snowing and we started with a group but uh, they were kind of behind so we started walking and let's see if we are able to meet them and meet more folks it's so good people from different countries different cities are here we have a dog we are walking and it's a beautiful hike i love being in nature it's so good Now that we are done with some nature let's have some glimpses of the city back to the city life back to things being too fast forward lots of people around and Estonia is still gorgeous been here for the last few months i can still navigate my way around pretty much i don't know what the localites have uh, you know placed the landmarks as i don't know the names of these places but this is uh, near the nautica mall and yeah that that's how i refer to this place so this is a walking distance away from the nautica mall almost near to where the ferries are parked and they disembark for the different travels to sweden to finland etc and it was so nice to see in the night all of these ships parked by the side looking so beautiful and the light city lights also sparkling down in the waters another day another view of the beautiful city this is a little far away from the city this is near uh, i forgot the landmark but yes this is also such a gorgeous view of the city and you can see those old town buildings shining nice and bright from here as well the waters are so so calm it's so nice to be sitting here driven in colors i never dreamed
public transport in general is extremely amazing. So in most of the new cities that I visit, even in Europe, rest of the Europe, it's pretty easy to navigate around. I make sure that I have Google Maps offline downloaded for that city. Yeah, public transport may not be visible on that, but at least I can get a sense of the directions. Even in Estonia, we have uh, so many different modes of transport. This one is a bus where you have metro and metro are also, once you see them, you'll see that they are uh, two types. Um, it doesn't differentiate in terms of how they function, but there's, a one, uh, there's one of them that's a nice old vintage one. And then there are modern trams as well, which even have Wi-Fi in them. So amazing. There's also trains that operate intercity, but since some of the stops might lie intra-city, so you can also travel within Tallinn on the train for some of the regions, some of the stops. And then there are so many other modes of transport. Especially in the summer, you would also see those bikes by uh, Bolt that are also available that you could take those and roam around. Then there are taxis, cabs that also you can easily get using Uber, Bolt and even uh, just by waving hand with conventional way in some of the areas in Tallinn. The old Tallinn is still kept pretty um, protected so in some of the lanes the cars are not allowed to be uh, driven so you would not see them being um, uh, operated in many of the areas in the old town but outside of that you can pretty much access any place using any of these uh, modes of transport. Here we are at Noma. I think it's called Nome or Noma, I don't know the pronunciation. Uh, and this is also one of my favorite spots which I had visited in the winter season when it was heavily snowing also. And now I'm here to also see the autumn season and to see how it looks like with all of the greenery almost still on but fading away. We came here to witness one of the cleanest springs to drink water from directly. So let's go there and try out fresh water. Yay! <laughs> to admit even though it was freezing cold of course I was not ready to use my hands to drink the water because it would take me hours to <laughs> make them warm again so I took out my bamboo straw and had the water I'm so glad I was carrying that I don't know why I put it in my bag but I'm so glad I did not have to wet my hands to have the water uh, it was so refreshing it was so good and I cannot be thankful enough for all of these experiences that I have been collecting um, not just in Estonia but in Europe, in life. I'm so so glad to be experiencing these. Walking through these woods just just almost a few kilometers away from the city and experiencing so fresh, such fresh air, such fresh water. It's just so good. And I have to tell you something. After visiting Estonia, being uh, in the clean air with the air quality index, we call that AQI, which is almost in single digits, and going to India after that, oh my god, I don't want to rant, but getting into a three digit AQI after a single digit one is painful. I always get a sick throat when I'm in India, especially after the travels outside where the clean air makes me feel so fresh.
quick fact about the Estonian blue black white tricolor flag and it's more than just a national symbol for sure. It dates back to 1885. The blue symbolizes the sky and freedom, the black represents the country's past struggles and white stands for the bright future ahead. Estonia has recently adopted the euro as its official currency. It's not older than 2011, but it makes everything so much easier for the tourists and eliminating the need for currency exchange, even for any financial transactions with the other countries in Europe. By the way, did I tell you I also visited Tartu? It is rightly said that it's the city of good thoughts because it's the second largest city and a hub of intellectual activity. The Emayoki River flows through Tartu and it is also a university town which has one of the Europe Europe's oldest universities, University of Tartu. It was founded in 1632. So old. Another amazing thing I discovered about Estonia was the singing revolution. Something that got them freedom from the Soviet rule. Imagine singing to get freedom. I don't know if it's the locals favorite or not but while wandering I really liked the Reval cafe and when I got to know about that I also got to know that Reval is another name of Tallinn and it was the name that was used during the medieval period but it was then changed to Tallinn which is now the modern Estonian name.
for its traditional smoke saunas which use an ancient method of heating stones with wood fire and then allowing the smoke to flavor the sauna so it's a wooden structure and it has an aroma in it as well which might be due to the oils that are added but it's an amazing experience for those who haven't tried it for sure it's not original um, there's a fight going on between uh, countries like finland estonia etc about who came up with the saunas first but as far as it's confirmed now is that it was finland who first came up with saunas and there are literally sauna competitions where participants test their endurance by enduring high temperatures in saunas oh wow and the person who stays the longest wins in the competition what a cool sport the saunas are not just places for relaxation but they are also amazing for socializing even in today's world i also heard some of the estonians telling me about the significance of saunas and i was told that in the olden times maybe also today in some of the um rural areas but women give birth in saunas and that was an amazing fact for me to know practical things i learned about estonia and especially about surviving the cold in estonia by living here were that i really did not have to get winter clothes from my country because of the amazing culture of sustainability and pre-loved clothing in estonia so using clothes which were used earlier by someone else is not frowned upon and not considered something that let's say you know homeless people would do even common people they take up these practices in which they would um get clothes from second hand shops and then wear those and then even donate those later once they've used it and maybe keep them for someone else to use later on and that's just so cool i even got some of these clothes this jacket that i'm wearing here from one of the thrift shops which was a pre-loved clothing shop from all i knew about breads in india was that breads are unhealthy for for your stomach and they are not good and they don't digest well but when i came to estonia everything changed uh, not just in estonia actually it was mostly in europe where i saw that bread is made fresh it's the staple just like we have chapatis in india which are also made fresh during every meal similar is bread for the european cuisine so i really enjoyed the break the bakeries and the fresh bread in europe while i have been here and been enjoying all of these you know gorgeous smells that you get on the way when you are passing through the bakeries practical thought of making friends or getting to know people in Estonia is to learn that they are not in for the small talk you know yes they they can be difficult people to be friends with i mean not be friends with but actually make friends with so it can be difficult to get that initial barrier of conversations going but once you're in you are all in so they're not in for that small chat um it's good if you take some initiatives in meeting up perhaps and give them a rest of let's say a week or two in between and then ask them again to meet it's absolutely fine with that maybe take something thoughtful with you um perhaps not like a gift but something that they would find cute and creative take that with you and that will surely impress them <laughs> By the way, here's that Rival Cafe that I was talking about. I really like sitting there and working from there sometimes or just tasting different bakery items they have. By the way, now that the weather is so good, let's get dressed and maybe go out for a stroll. and then in the evening get some groceries and i'll also take you on a quick tour to the grocery store where you can see what all we get in the estonian grocery stores 
and maybe you can pick what you like.
right so let's go to one of the grocery stores called Maxima and this is a smaller Maxima which is the X and there is XX and also XXX <laughs> that's the biggest one but we'll go for the smaller one for now because that's near my place and it'll be easy to get all of the stuff back to the room exciting of all in the Estonian grocery stores is the dairy section and that's because there's so much variety of dairy and it's so high quality. After that let's go and try some of the products that are on sale and there's so much stuff that has been put on proportion so I'm going to check this section out.
I'm going to rewind a bit from here and as I promised in the beginning of the video, I'm going to share about the fifth season in Estonia that I witnessed and I'm going to take you there virtually with me. We are in the waters. Let me tell you the story of the fifth season that we witnessed in Estonia. So how this happens is that when the winter is fading away and the summer is about to start, all of the snow melts and it causes this area to be almost flooded. So this is the Soma National Park and this area is supposed to be a forest on most of the months of the year but during this special month it gets flooded when all of the snow melts and this water gets accumulated here where we can do canoeing and just explore the scenery around you can see that the trees are now trying to get their leaves back again and it's all going to be greener very soon but now that the harsh winter is gone all of the snow is gone here we have the fifth season to enjoy by ourselves and explore in the Soma National Park. We were in a group and we had two boards so it was so much fun chasing our friends, clicking their photos, maybe sometimes even scaring them to have them fall into the water but it was uh, of course all safe and the water was very steep, it's, it's not deep at all. I'll be honest I was scared because I do not know swimming, <laughs> especially when I was here in the video. Um, I did not know swimming. After this yes I learned a bit of it but I'm still not so confident and I'm hopefully at least not scared of this shallow water anymore. Uh, it was definitely still overall a surreal experience and very unique because it's not all of the cities or all of the places where you get to see this, um, this certain thing, right? The fifth season. So Estonia is extremely unique that way and I'm so glad that I got to witness it.
this uh, phenomena usually happens in the month of around April and it's for a very few days so we were really lucky that we caught this and it's only I think for 20 to 30 days that you can see this 30 days also on a maximum um, on a good year when you actually see 30 days of uh, of the fifth season but usually it's very short and the summer starts getting in so this water usually would get dispersed or evaporated etc and this um, you know this entire canal won't be visible anymore after the fifth season isn't that very interesting how do you find it support in my journey and i hope i see you in another video and i really hope that you enjoyed virtually traveling estonia tartu dalin all of these places with me thank you and see you in another video bye, -bye.